Hi, and welcome to Property Base, the number one real estate desktop solution built on and powered by Salesforce. Today, I'll be providing you with a quick, high level tour of our platform. Keep in mind if you want a more detailed and tailored demonstration of our product, please contact your account executive. Property Base has developed and created all of the custom objects necessary to run your real estate business more efficiently and effectively, all within the Salesforce environment. Navigating our platform is easy with these huge nav buttons based on typical activities in a real estate office. Things like creating a new contact or lead, creating a property request, tracking your activities, your calendar and your task management, and even printing or sending listing information directly from the platform. You can also quickly add a new listing. Our custom objects include a listing browser, which allows you to quickly search and index your properties, an offers object that manages the entire offer process, a closing object that manages the entire closing process from the parties involved in the transaction to all of the closing details and even your financials, and a listings object allowing you to quickly enter in property records and manage all of the assets associated with your property listings. Managing your contacts and contact relationships is a breeze with Property Base, with one single object to manage every contact type that you have, whether they're a buyer, a seller, a vendor, a broker associate or employee, or even a cooperating broker. All of these contacts can be managed and records can be cataloged and views set up based on those particular record types. Let's jump into a record type and break it down for you. All of the activities surrounding this particular contact can be easily viewed and managed. Here in the related list of the contact record, you can see open activities, things like new tasks or events. In your activity history, you can log calls, send emails, and even track email statuses. Further down the contact record related list, you have a separate related list for your requests. A request is a buying preference. How much can they afford? How many bedrooms? How many baths? Neighborhoods, etc. You can capture all of that information and then use this object to search for properties in your database, as well as make and track recommendations. Recommendations that you make through the platform are all visible in the favorites related list, so that you can see a list view of every single property that you've recommended to this particular individual. Further down the related list, you can see any offers associated with this contact. And if this contact was a seller, you have a separate section for real estate owned and even real estate owned as a landlord. Any documents pertinent to this contact record can also be managed here. So if it's a buyer and you've got a bank approval, simply attach it right into the file, into the file manager here. And now you have that record and it's accessible anywhere because it's stored in the cloud. Next, we're going to demonstrate requests. We're going to create a new request for Bobby Buyer. I'm going to scroll down here to the related list where the requests are and select New Request. Here you can see our layout and you can capture buyer preferences. Keep in mind that the beauty of the platform is that it can be modified and customized based on your specific search criteria. Simple rule here is these fields map to the listings object. So if you create a custom field in listings like neighborhoods or walking score, for example, simply map those fields in this object so that you can search for them by those particular criteria. Next, we're going to create a budget. We're going to give them $1.5 million and save it. By doing so, I've created a request ID and it's related to Bobby Buyer. Now I want to find matching listings that meet this criteria. By selecting Find Matching Listings, I'm taken from the contact record into the listing browser. Here, just in case I forget what I'm doing, I can see that I'm working with Bobby Buyer. He's in San Diego, and he's got a request for $1.5 million. Here are some properties that have come up. If I want to broaden my search, I simply clear the filter, and additional properties are made available to me. Next, I want to make some recommendations to Bobby, so I'm going to select these three properties. In this drop down menu, I have actions. I'm going to select email listings. Property Base has created an HTML template that automatically merges in data from the listings object. Things like the property photo, the price, the descriptions, or any other fields that you want to map can be done so as well. In the next screen, I get a preview of what that email is going to look like to my client.
So here we have a preview of the email. There's photos of the three properties, the property price, and even the descriptions. When I send this email off, it automatically logs the activity in the contact record. And it also gives me a list view of the properties that I've recommended to this particular individual. So if I jump back into Bobby Byer's contact record, and I scroll down to the related lists, I see my activity history, which is the email that I just sent off to him. I see my request that I created for $1.5 million and I get a list view of the properties that I've recommended as well. I can also track any feedback that the client has shared with me on a particular property. If I click edit next to any of these listings, I have a simple client rating system that I can use and I can enter in any feedback. Because property base is all relational, I've just shared that information directly into the listing as well. So I'm going to scroll down once again to the related lists. I'm going to click on a property and I'm taken from the contact record directly into the listing object in property base. Here I can see all of the media assets associated with the property, all of the activity history associated with this particular listing, including the names of the buyers it was recommended to. And of course, there's Bobby Buyer and his feedback. Next, let's jump into the offers object. The offers object makes managing the entire offer process a breeze. With all of the associated parties in the transaction here, you can manage the initial offer and any subsequent counter offers that are made by buyers and sellers here. Property Base automatically logs the offer history and timestamps it for you. Documents can also be attached into this object. And when an offer is accepted, it automatically triggers a workflow in the platform to update the status of the property. If I accept an offer on Home Sweet Home in Berkeley, the status of this property goes from active to reserved or sold, depending on what your preferences are. The closing object is designed simple, and this is done on purpose. Every single real estate office manages their transactions and closings differently. With this object, custom fields can be added so that you can track the entire closing process from the parties involved to all of the closing details, as well as any activities or action plans associated with a particular closing. Financials can also be forecasted with this object and all of the commissions can be calculated for you as well using the formula fields that can be added into this record. Some of the standard workflows included in Property Base includes a feature sheet. When you click on the print or send listing information, you're taken directly to the listing browser where you can select a property. If you click on the print button, a PDF document is automatically generated, mapping in photos from your listing, your logo, any descriptions that you want to share, and property details. This can be printed off and shared with a client immediately. Because it's in the cloud, you can literally pull into a Kinko's, for example, log into Property Base, select a property, and print off your flyers just before your open houses or your meetings with your buyers. Property Base also has a showings report workflow that's built in here too. So keeping your sellers informed is a breeze. Simply select a property, select the More drop-down menu, and choose Showings Report. This is another HTML template that's designed by Property Base to map in data from the listings object so that you can quickly share any dates of showings, any ratings given by the clients, client names, and even the feedback. As you can see, Property Base has made using Salesforce for your real estate business a turnkey solution. Property Base can be customized and tailored by your Salesforce partner so that it works the way you want it to work and not the way a software developer thinks it should work. For more information and for a more detailed tour, be sure to contact your account executive today. We hope you've enjoyed this brief tour and I thank you. Happy selling.